What's up, everybody? Welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It is Saturday evening here in Finley, Ohio, and I'm hanging out getting ready to have a beer. Uh, the beer I have on offer today is Kostritzer Schwarz Beer. So Kostritzer is a black beer. It's basically a, a black lager made by the Kostritzer Schwarz Beer Browery. Uh, now, they are from Bad Kostritz, which is in Thuringian, Germany. So this is in part of what used to be East Germany. Um, this brewery's origins go all the way back to 1543, which is crazy. I love checking out a lot of the German or Belgian breweries um, because their origins are so old. I think especially as Americans to think our you know, modern origins of our country, I guess, are the 1700s, to think that there are breweries around that could be 200 years older than our country, to me, is pretty amazing. Um, I also think it's cool that they've been pretty much producing dark beer for all this time. Uh, which means they probably know what they're doing, right? If it's been around that that long, um, let's hope they've mastered the art. So I picked this up the other day at Kibbe's. This was part of that mixed eight pack that I picked up. There was four beers, two of each. This, um, Kostritzer, the, the black beer, as well as a pale ale. And then there was also the Bitburger and the Bitburger Lemon Radler. So Kostritzer is part of the um, Bitburger group with a number of other um, beer brands that are all part of it, including the one Lischer that we saw in the, the Aldi um, advent calendar. I think they make Werner's Gruner as well. One of the one of their brands makes the Werner's Gruner one you see at Aldi. So, you know, Coast Ritzer is, um, I guess, a pretty unique beer in that it's quite old. The other cool thing about it is that during the Cold War, um, one of the few products that was actually exported from East Germany, or one of the few beers at least, was this. Um, I guess East Germany didn't have a whole lot else going for it. You had those hideous Traben cars, and <laughs> I don't know what else. Maybe some bad rock and roll. Um, so it's kind of interesting that this beer, even during the Cold War era, was something that you could get in the West. So we're going to check this out, see how it tastes. As far as ratings, this gets a 352 on untapped. Beer Advocate, a 392. And the overall grade was an 88 of very good. So I'm going to go with the Black Cloister glass today. Have some new Pilsner glasses on the way, but this will have to do in the time being. It actually poured quite nicely. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Um, pretty dark, can't see through it. It does have a bit of a hue to it, kind of like that, uh, you know, Coca-Cola color or ruby, like they get, they say with the Guinness. Um, you know, it's obviously black, but if you look at it in the light, you do get a bit of a, a red hue inside. Uh, as far as the head in this, this glass, I got a good three fingers of nice, frothy, um, tan-colored foam. Looks really inviting, really good. Smell? Not a whole lot. You definitely pick up a bit of roasted malt. And honestly, not a whole lot more. Um, if you want to have a, a spend some time... Um, run through the beer advocate reviews. Some of the stuff people said, some of the, the smells and tastes are absolutely absurd. It would have made me beat my head against a brick wall. Um, some of the absurd things people claim they picked up when they smelled or tasted this beer. It's always interesting to give it a read and have a nice chuckle. All right, let's give it a shot. All right. That is a nice roasted mall right up front. Um, that's, that's probably the dominant flavor. Kind of gives way, maybe a little bit of coffee, a little bit of caramel, but for the most part, you kind of have, um, a nice roasty malt, maybe some, like I said, a little bit of coffee, caramel in there. Hops, nothing really going on with the hops too much. This is just a nice, I would say probably full bodied, um, dark beer. Um, it's, it's not hoppy. There's nothing overly sweet about it. Like I said, maybe you get that little bit of like a burnt caramel kind of thing going on that goes with the roasty malts, but, but that's about it. This is really nice. Um, and I honestly think even if you're not a fan of dark beers, I think you could probably get down with this. Um, it's not quite as, as coffee flavored or chocolatey as maybe some of the stouts. It's just kind of a nice middle of the road, nice roasted malt flavor. Um, nice body to it. It's it's honestly a really nice beer. We should see more Schwarz beers. 
when you deal with black beers, all you really see is stouts and porters in the U.S. Um, once in a while, you see a black IPA. So I'm kind of excited and happy to see this this uh, Schwarz beer, this black lager. Um, it's really good. Uh, Kostritzer, I would definitely drink another one of these beers. I look forward to drinking another one of these beers. So you definitely get the thumbs up. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button below. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, if you've had this beer and you liked it, you disliked it, jump in on the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you have friends or family that are interested in beer videos, please share. Until next time, cheers.